Just imagine that, there is plenty of energy that we don't use in our normal life. My friend is always hit by lightning from his tap, and that happens because his neighbor didn't attach the ground wire to the boiler. Another mate has sparks from his heating system, and I'm going to show you how to collect this free energy. I'm gonna use this energy for additional light, or just to charge my smartphone. First thing we need is a very thick wire, then connect it to a reliable grounding, and I'm going to use a simple water pipe. I'm sorry, it looks very bad. Let's see, I'm gonna try to set the wire here. Another end will be connected to the ground wire of the electric net. First, I plug in the fork. It has some voltage right now, I need to be careful. Then I find out where the phase wire, using a tool. And it is obvious that this one is the phase wire. I plug it out and remember what is the phase wire. Then I insulate the phase wire to protect myself from electricity. We don't need that. Now there will appear some voltage potential between these wires, let's measure it up. It's 2.8 volts. That will be enough to spark a LED light. Not bad so far. It doesn't hurt me. It is working well, but I think the camera can show it. Oh, that's very interesting. It isn't seen now, but now it's visible. Such a weird effect. The potential difference is caused by the phase difference in the electric network. And that's okay. Usually this energy goes to the ground wire. But we can also use it in another way. To make this energy more effective, we need to use a simple transformer. You can find one in almost any electric device. For example, in this little balalaika. Let's open it up. Carefully. There it is. This one is ready to use. This transformer was used to decrease the net voltage for the recorder, but we're gonna use it with the opposite purpose. I mean it will get the low voltage, and this little thing will increase it to 220 volts. Let's try it out. It's the ground wire, oh, no, it's zero wire. And the other wire is the ground wire itself. Carefully, the voltage is getting bigger, and I have to be very careful not to catch a lightning. Let's see how it's working now. Let's measure it. The input is 2.8 volts, it's very low. Let's see what's got into the output. 64, 66 volts. That isn't 220 volts. Nevertheless, we can still use it for something. Let's see if this energy is enough to charge a smartphone. Well... No, it is not enough still. I was measuring everything and find out that the pipe doesn't have a normal contact. I'm going to clean it up and make it better, because it's the reason of the voltage drop. I think it will be better to connect it right here, we can check it out right now. So what do we have here? It's 199 volts, it's 200, almost 220. We have even connected a plug to it. Let's plug the fork in. Here we go, the charging doesn't happen still. It's interrupted when starting. The losses reach 60 volts. Let's try out this little monster. That was a sound transformer from the ancient lamp recorder. It looks fatter anyway. That one was too small, it may be just one watt or something. And this one can stand 10 watts or even more. There are some sparks, good. That's awesome. I wonder what voltage we'll get from it. It is 233. It isn't a joke, right? Let's try to charge a smartphone. Can this fatty transformer do it? Or not? I'm connecting it. 220 volts isn't a laughing matter. Yeah, it's working and no breaks. I see 79% charge and the charging goes. That's cool, let's try to plug a lamp here. Aha, uh -huh, the charging stopped. We have got this awesome corn lamp, it appeared in some of our videos previously. And the context of this lamp fits the transformer just perfectly. Let's try. There was a spark. It shines brightly, but the light isn't stable. What's wrong with you, really? This sparkling is just nasty, it eats my eyes, really. Let's try something else. 
I found this old lamb, let's see. It is more powerful though. It is 32 watts, oh my. But it's very different. Let's see what we've got. Failure. Oh, it's working, look! It didn't light up at once, though it burns brighter and brighter. That's free Earth energy. And it's enough to light up this cool lamp. It isn't 100% bright, but it's working. The most fancy thing is that the energy doesn't disappear, if the electricity is turned off. This free energy is very convenient to use as a bedside lamp. The only drawback of these wonderful voltages is that this voltage isn't stable and can change during the day. This lamp was shining bright just a moment ago, but now it's hardly working. However, in a minute or so it will light brightly again. What would you like us to check about alternative or free energy? Write it and we will make it. Sub and we will explore the free energy matter together.